Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to my garden. I'm Graham, and uh, not a whole lot has changed. I mean, well, there is, but stuff is growing very slowly, except those cucumbers and these Rutgers tomatoes. So, I'm looking back at my mess now. Look at this. The creation of mess that I've made. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to, to join you today and show you what's been happening since the last upload. Um, and yeah, well, you can see those, those, uh, those corn stalks are getting mighty tall. So every day now I am going to upload a new video, um, it's going to be a pepper video and in the title it will be dated these ones will be dated for July 12th which is today's date and there's seven of them in total and every um, every week I'm gonna try to shoot them again so you can see the growth from week to week so that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, that's there in the pepper shrine. So, wow, those guys there, those ones right in front of you. I can't believe how much that, especially that one. I can't believe how much that shot up. That was that little teeny weeny pepper that I put in the ground and then put those, uh, those rings over it. It's pretty cool. Hopefully one of these is a habanada. I think one of them is which would be nice. The cabbage is doing good. I think I've got a bug infestation because there are some holes in the cabbage. I don't see any insects, but there are holes in the cabbage that look like they're broccoli, excuse me, that look like they're being eaten, but I don't see any else on them that's like a worm see how they they look like they've been eaten but I don't see any bugs on them so I was doing some research online and they said to take 50% baking soda and 50% flour a 50 50 mix and sprinkle on your brassicas and that's supposed to help um, get rid of the, uh, I, think they, I think it's called a cabbage worm, I think is what it's called. So I think I'm going to give that a try and powder, powder them with that. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think, if I should do that or not. Didn't think these peppers here were going to make it. Really, I didn't that they were going to die. Ooh, look, look, look. Yummy! Got tomatoes. Ooh, and there's more coming up there. That's pretty cool. These champions, man. They're putting on a ton of tomatoes this year. A ton. They're really small, which I expected that because you know, there's four plants in one pot. Man, they're doing great for four plants in one pot. Oh my goodness. And then up here is some Rapunzel. I think there's some more. Where did I see it? Right there. There's more Rapunzel. And there's more. And I'm noticing that Rapunzel just seems to put on these really, really long trellises with tomatoes on them. So that's really kind of cool. And that needs to be attached to the pole here pretty soon. I mean, that's a six foot pole, so probably five feet of it above ground. And so that Rapunzel is reaching, gosh, it's got to be reaching at least four feet tall. That is really awesome. No, see, look, I'm a really lazy person, still haven't picked those up. 
the asparagus is bolting again, so that's nice. It's going to get nice and tall, hopefully. And then hopefully next year I'll get some asparagus. I had to take this asparagus and pinch it on it. Well, you can see here in the dark or in the sunlight, but I had to pinch it up um, between the two barrels because this was falling over. <clears throat> it's um, the problem with asparagus is it's very top heavy and so trying to keep it upright is very difficult very difficult um, oregano is needing to be picked really bad and as you can see I've got um, oregano um, flowers and blossoms here so it's bolting but it needs to be picked really bad and dried out so I can use it. The thyme has got seeds everywhere. Just fine. And then this variety is really doing good too. Oh, just from rubbing my hand through it. Oh my gosh, the smell of thyme. So that's what's going on here and as far as the wood chips go yeah yeah I gotta get more wood chips I gotta go all the way back there and I don't know if I have the I don't know if I have them so all right well it's not too much going on just kind of chilling you know how it is just chilling in Sir Cracker's garden. Oh, you blinded by the sun. Look at that sunlight. So bright. Well, until next time, y'all have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. Bye for now.